Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today's lesson is a lesson about slang in British English. So, what is slang? Well, first of all, the pronunciation. Slang. Slang. Slang is very informal language. It's everyday language, okay? And it is often used in spoken English, spoken English, but not in written English, okay? So we speak it, but we don't write it. But be careful, very careful. Slang is not good English. It's not good English, but it is very common in everyday life. You hear it a lot by native speakers in certain informal situations. So that's very important. But since it is not good English, if you are an English student, then I do not advise you to use slang yourse yourselves, okay? Um, because it's not very appropriate in an academic context. But it is important, it is important for you to understand it, okay? Because it might appear on a listening test, for example. A listening test or a listening exam um, could have slang on it. And also, if you plan an oral exam, could also have it, maybe. And also, if you plan to travel to, to Great Britain or another English-speaking country, then you will certainly hear slang a lot. Okay? So, in this lesson, you will learn seven very common slang words and expressions. Bugger all, chuffed, cock up, doddle, dodgy, flog, and fluke. So, let's start. Oh, by the way, if you would like me to teach you more slang, then write a comment below this video, and if there are enough comments, I will make more videos. Okay? I'm not going to make videos if no one's watching them and no one likes them. So, if you like my videos, um, then please leave a comment, and if we get lots of comments, I will continue. So, Let's start. Bugger all. So this simply means nothing. Example. Mark asks, what did you do last night? Jane replies, bugger all. So bugger all, basically Jane's saying that she didn't do anything last night. She did nothing. Okay, here she is. She just came home and rested. Okay? Be careful with this. This is um, very, very informal and it is quite vulgar language. Okay? It is common in spoken English, but it's quite... some people will find it offensive. Okay? So be careful when using it. Another example. My computer isn't working. Can you help? David says, no, sorry. I know bugger all about computers. I know bugger all. So I know nothing about computers. Jane asks, does Mark help you with the housework? And Sarah replies, no, he does bugger all. He does bugger all. Okay, he does nothing. Look at him, lazy Mark. Um, asleep on the couch. Okay, so bugger all means nothing, but be careful, it is quite a vulgar expression. Chuffed. Okay, this is not vulgar, this is fine, it's very informal, but it is, it's not offensive. Adjective, to describe a person. So we only use this to describe a person. And it means 
the person is very happy or very pleased about something. David asks, did Jane like the ring? And Mark replies, yes, she was chuffed. She was chuffed. So this means that, yes, Jane was really pleased with the ring. You can see her here. Very pleased. Chuffed. And now from Jane's perspective, Jane's opinion, Jane says later, Mark bought me a ring. I'm so chuffed. I'm so chuffed. Okay. So here she is. She's so chuffed. Mark says, I spent the day with my dad yesterday. Spent the day with my dad. Jane says, I bet he was pleased. And Mark says, yes, he was chuffed. He was chuffed. So yes, he was very happy. Okay. So again, this is fine. This is, um, it's not rude, this expression. It's very informal, um, but it's not rude. Cock up. This is, however, a little bit rude. It's a little bit offensive and vulgar, but it is very, very common in British English. Noun. Something that is done wrong or badly. An error or mistake. Okay. So, the meaning is, if you make a cock up of something, then you ruin it by doing something wrong. Okay, so you mess it up. Um, so notice the structure. We say we make a cock up of something when cock up is a noun. So we make a cock up of something. So example, here's a pizza. So the context of the example. A, a pizza delivery arrives one hour late and the driver, the delivery driver, apologizes to Mark. So he says sorry, he explains why the pizza is late and then the driver leaves. So later, Jane asks Mark, why was it so late? And Mark replies, they made a cock-up of the order. They made a cock-up of the order. So this means, so this is obviously the past tense. They made, past. So this means they made a mistake with the order. They made a mistake. They did something badly. They did something wrong with the order. They made a cock-up of the order. Okay. Now, we can also use cock up as a phrasal verb. So the same meaning, but we can create a phrasal verb. So the phrasal verb is to cock something up. So if we want to um, describe this situation using a phrasal verb, then Mark says, they cocked the order up. They cocked the order up. Okay. So this is the same meaning as this, but here we are using the phrasal verb. And we can also change the form or, or the order of the phrasal verb. We can have the form to cock up something, to cock up something. So with this form, Mark says, they cocked up the order. They cocked up the order. Okay. So, cock up, this is slang, informal language, spoken language, spoken English, but be careful, it is quite offensive, it's a little bit vulgar. A doddle, this is fine, this is slang, it's informal, but it is not rude or vulgar, okay, it's perfectly okay. So this is an adjective to describe a situation or thing. And it simply means easy. Okay, so easy means not difficult. 
Jane asks, how was the exam? And Mark replies, it was a doddle. So this means it was easy. Notice that we always have the um, indefinite article a ah, before this. It was a doddle. Example two. I want to bake a cake, but the recipe looks difficult. And Jane replies, it's not difficult, it's a doddle. It's a doddle. So the recipe is not difficult, it's a doddle. Okay, so this is very common. It's quite a nice expression, I like this one. Dodgy. Very, very common in British English. All of these are, are British English, but this is particularly common in British English. Um, the pronunciation. Dodgy. Dodgy. Okay. It's an adjective to describe a thing or person. So this is the first meaning. There are two meanings of dodgy. So the first one, it is an adjective to describe a thing or person. And it means dishonest or not to be trusted. Not to be trusted. So dishonest means not honest. So if someone or something is not honest or not to be trusted, then it is dodgy or the person is dodgy. Example. Mark says, that company is dodgy. Don't invest in it. Okay, so you can see the share price. Um, the value of the company is decreasing rapidly. So that usually means there's a problem with the company. So Mark is saying the company is dodgy. You know, it's, it's not to be trusted. Or the investment, perhaps, is not to be trusted. Don't invest in it. It's risky. Okay. And David says, thanks for the advice. Another example. John says, I received a dodgy email yesterday. A dodgy email. So a dodgy email is an email that is not to be trusted. Perhaps it's, um, it's a fraud or scam or someone's trying to steal money from you by email. So that is an example of a dodgy email, okay? A dodgy business proposition or proposal, okay? It's, it's, it, it's a bit strange. You, you don't really trust it or believe the email. It's dodgy. Okay, you have a bad feeling about something. And this one is about a person. Okay, this is about a person. So Jane asks, what do you think about John? I think he's a bit weird or a bit strange. Weird means strange. Sarah says, yes, he's dodgy. So if a person is dodgy, then the person... Um, cannot be trusted okay you you have a bad feeling about the person you are not comfortable with the person okay this is not rude but it it obviously has a negative um, a negative meaning um, but it's not a vulgar word okay now, dodgy also has a, a, um, a second meaning. Same pronunciation. And it's an adjective to only describe a thing with this meaning. So this meaning means likely to fail or likely to cause problems. Okay, so likely means um, there's a high probability to fail or to cause problems okay example mark says i don't feel well david asks what's wrong 
Mark says, I've got a dodgy stomach. I've got a dodgy stomach. Okay, so this means that Mark's stomach, um, it's likely going to cause him problems. So what he means is, probably in 10 minutes, I'm going to have to run to the toilet. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you understand. Okay, so he's got a dodgy stomach. It's um, fragile. There's a problem. It's causing problems. Jane says, be careful with the phone. The screen is very dodgy. Okay, I'm sure I don't have to explain this one. The screen is dodgy, likely to fail or cause problems. Okay. And the last example, Mark says, we should cancel our trip to New York. Jane says, why? And Mark says, well, the weather is too dodgy. It's too dodgy because the weather is too bad. The weather is likely to cause problems for our trip. So you often hear this when um, British people are talking about bad weather. They'll say the weather looks dodgy. Okay. Flog. This is a verb. And it means to sell something. Mark says, I flogged my old phone and bought a new one. So I flogged my old phone and I bought a new one. So I sold my old phone. Mark says, where is your TV? David replies, I flogged it. So this means I sold it. Okay, I sold it. Fluke. And this is fine, in fact. This is slang. It's informal, but um, it is not rude. It's not offensive. So it's perfectly fine, in fact, to use this if you want. So it's a noun. And it means something good that happens due to luck or chance. So something positive happens. And the reason is because of luck or chance. Example. David says, I played poker for the first time yesterday and I won. So Jane says, wow, that was a fluke. That was a fluke. So that was lucky. In fact, that was lucky. Mark says, I passed my final exams. So here he is, he's pleased. And Jane says, congratulations. That's incredible because you hadn't studied for them. So Jane is obviously surprised that Mark has passed his final exams. And Mark agrees. He says, I know it was a fluke. I know it was a fluke. So Mark agrees that it was lucky. He was lucky. Okay, so if something is a fluke, then it happened because of luck. Okay? So there we are. That's the end. So please write a comment below this video and share the video with other students. If there are enough comments, I'll make more videos. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll perhaps see you next time.